as the country has been engulfed with protests, COVID-19, and all sorts of other unrest, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer of Common Sense Academy, has been overwhelmed with work. However, things are going good for me, everybody, and I'm back. But the show will have a new name go going forward. It's going to be Attorney Audits Agitators. I still got my Common Sense Academy sign. The Attorney Audits Agitator sign is coming soon. Triple A, we'll see how that plays out. While I don't want to cover the George Floyd killing and everything to do with the police on this episode, I do want to cover two uh, fascinating things that are happening in the country right now and give my opinions on them. And those are the CHAZ, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone that is being set up in Seattle, and also Minneapolis's decision to defund and dissolve the police department. I'm going to I'm going to talk about what's going on in those cities and then give you some interesting perspectives or at least the perspectives that I had which I thought were interesting. Before I dig into the content though, raise your glass, your cup in the air and cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. We're going to get through this okay, everybody. Cheers, sip with me. Delicious. Okay. So most of you probably have heard about Chaz or the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone in Seattle. If you haven't, what it is, is an area in the city of Seattle that has been blocked off by protesters. I, I am, I've I read that it encompasses several city blocks and people are sort of living in there, gathering in there right now. Inside the Chaz, the autonomous zone, was a police precinct that was abandoned during the rioting phase of the protests. Uh, so the police are no longer present inside the Chaz or the autonomous zone. Um, a couple things that are going on there. What I've read is that it's, I've heard it be called a protest haven. They're playing music, sharing ideas, and doing a whole bunch of gardening. I've heard it described as an area, an opportunity for grieving for some of the protesters and people in the city. Um, you know, they've been chanting to get rid of the mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin, who is supportive of this Chad thing, but hey, who am I to who am I to tell them what they want to do, right? Um, so you know that that's the sort of the positive picture that we've heard. Um, I've also heard that businesses are operating freely and uh, that they're making money. There have, hasn't been any formal uh, complaints filed by any of the businesses inside this autonomous zone. Uh, one of the things that is a little bit worrisome is that they have armed guards roaming through here. I've heard reports of uh, of um, at least. AR-15s, perhaps AK-47s. I don't know if that's true about the AK-47s, but they're they're walking around open carry is legal in Seattle. Um, also, they're building walls, and I've heard that they that they deny access. That may or may not be true. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this Chaz thing plays out. It's been going on for uh, several days now, and the mayor doesn't really want to do anything about it, at least not yet. The police in Seattle have said they are eventually going to go back in there but not yet. There is no timeline. Donald Trump wants somebody to go in now and take back that territory. So that's Chaz. That's what's going on in Seattle. Over in Minneapolis, the Minneapolis City Council passed a resolution to dissolve the police department and replace it with, uh, I believe, what has been stated as an undefined community alternative. What that is, I don't know. There's a lot of ideas popping around. One of the criticisms of the police, and there's actually some fairness to it, is that police are often called to respond to uh, situations that they may not be 
trained in, right? For example, uh, if somebody is injured, uh, etc. I don't know. I don't have examples. This is one of the criticisms, okay? I'm just letting you know. So it sounded to me from reading one of the articles that in Minneapolis, uh, they want to change their 911 system and have different types of services responding to different types of 911 calls instead of the police or the fire department being uh, more or less the only alternatives. I guess you could throw the hospital or emergency EMT T's in there as well. So um, they haven't defined exactly what they're going to do. An interesting part about what happened in Minneapolis is the mayor, who's received a lot of criticism, he's received criticisms and supports through all of this, Jacob Frey, I believe he publicly threatened to veto any measure by city council to d uh, dissolve the police department. So the city council in uh, what I think was a unanimous vote, I don't know if it was unanimous but it was veto proof they passed this resolution that is going to dissolve the police I read something about there being a one-year phase out plan so it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out now everybody on Facebook and the internet and the interwebs and television has incendiary views about everything that's happening in the country and everything that's happening uh, in Seattle and Minneapolis so I want to give you a couple key differences here. One, one point I want to make is, you know, what ha what what's going on, what was done in Seattle, I think is the proper way to go because what was done in Seattle was the city council made a decision through the legal democratic process to dissolve the police. So be it. I don't agree with that decision. Okay, that's me personally. I think the police are maybe a, a perfect type of force to handle a wide variety of issues. However, they did it legally. They did it through democracy in the right manner. So even if you disagree with that decision, I believe you have to respect it. It's constitutional, etc. Now, what's happened in Seattle with Chaz, although this gathering appears to be perfectly peaceful, it was not done through the democratic process. They they basically took this land and and you know they're doing what they want with it. Now we're in strange times with COVID nineteen. Uh, you know, <laughs> business as usual in this country is not happening. Still, uh, you know, these protesters have more or less taken over this area of the city to do what they want with, and they did not do it through a democratic process. Did they do it through a through force, a type of force? Yes, um, but I wouldn't, you know, necessarily classify it as a. a, a, a um, you know, a military type takeover, but th there's arguments to be made that it was sort of hostile because it it was uh, planted after the riots. I mean, the police were more or less run out of that precinct. So what Minneapolis did with disbanding the police, <clears throat> I'm on board with. Constitutional, that's the right way to do it. Vote through city council. This thing that happened with Chaz in Seattle uh, is, is technically likely not legal. There's probably a lot of law breaking that's going on there. Now the mayor and the police have made the decision to tolerate it, okay? Uh, so that's sort of, that is what it is. But I think, you know, there's there's a lot to be said for Minneapolis doing this the right way and what's going on Seattle to be just a little bit crazy. Um, Here's the, here's the thing I'll say also. Now, now I'm, I'm not going to make this. This is my second point. I'm not going to make this about Chaz. I mean, there's 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 communes out there, right? There's hippie communes. There's, um, I don't know if you want what you want to call them, vegan communes where people go, grow their own food. They live as a community. They more or less run that community. They more or less probably police themselves for the most part. That exists in different places all over the country. So Chaz, you know, taking this area in the city, you know, I'm not the hugest fan of it. Um, but, you know, it might, one thing I will say is I believe people need to blow off steam right now. Okay. Uh, the pandemic, it's the pandemic had people locked down. Uh, you know, it's an election year. Then the, the George Floyd death. All right. And, and, 
you know, everybody ran out to the streets. There's, there was just a lot of bound up energy in the country. And the, the, the riots, which I don't approve of rioting, and but the protests, the peaceful protests, thumbs up, First Amendment, okay, got that this energy out, all right? And that's still what I see is going on with Chaz in Seattle. It's sort of an outlet blowing off steam. So uh, the mayor waiting to see what happens, letting this play out is probably a prudent decision. Um, but I wouldn't, what I, the point I was going to make is about testing ideas and experimenting. I don't really see that as an experiment, okay? That already exists. You can go to a commune. You can go and set up a community of your own where everybody gardens and plays music all day. That's perfectly fine. But to take someone else's territory and do that is illegal. Now, what they did in Minneapolis, I, I think is interesting because it is going to be an experiment. We are going to see if there is an alternative to the police. Um, it may succeed and maybe more cities will decide to go that way. And then cities or communities that like the police can keep the police. All right. If it works, it works. Great. If it doesn't work, all right, it could potentially turn into a problem. Um, that may need to be cleaned up. However, what it would do is it would show, uh, definitely, it would show beyond a reasonable doubt that the police are necessary and needed. So what's happening in Minneapolis could actually turn out to be a, a victory for uh, police forces, uh, so on and so forth, a vote of confidence. It depends how it plays out. I have no idea. Uh, I'm not going to root one way or another. I'm going to see what happens, but they did it democratically, so... Uh, you know, I think we should stand back and, and let it play out for that city. I do feel bad for people who don't want it, who live in the city and don't want it. They can move out. That's not a good option or a great option, but it is an option. It is an option. Um, so those are the points I wanted to make about what's going on with Chaz and what's going on in Minneapolis. And the third point I was going to make, which I made in the, the second point, was that it, it could potentially be good for policing in this country. So number one, I support what Minneapolis did democratically. What's going on in, in Seattle I, they're blowing off steam, but I don't, I don't agree that it can go on forever. Number two, I think it's good to test ideas. If a city wants to test ideas here and there legally and through the democratic process, thumbs up. And number three, all of this could actually turn out to be really positive for the police in the long run. I, for one, believe that the vast majority of police are good people. Okay, thank you for tuning in to Common Sense Academy. I will return to more of my regular programming soon. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and sign up for my email list where I have a P you get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Thanks.